All right, y'all, so everybody's always asking where the good food is when you come down to New Orleans. We actually at Quarterview, y'all, on Clearview in Metairie, Louisiana. So let's go in, y'all, and see what it is. All right, y'all, so we got the food. Now it ain't nothing but time, y'all, to check it out. Now I got something different. I ain't never had them before. They're called jambalaya rolls. Come see. All right, so if you see the, the jambalaya rolls, y'all, I've never seen them quite before, but they have, this is a jambalaya with uh, shrimp and chicken and uh, sausage in it. Let's go ahead and try one out. They look like. Oh, that's good. Man. Genius idea. That was good. So, kind of just like an egg roll that you would get, but stuffed with jambalaya. Exactly what it says. It's, they delicious. Uh, I'd definitely get them again. All right, y'all, so now we got the macaroni. Let's go ahead and... All right, y'all, so now we got the macaroni. So now we got the macaroni. I went ahead and got my seafood platter with a side of the macaroni, so check that out. And let's see how it tastes, you know what I mean? Mmm, when ain't cooperating. Oh. Oh, that's good. It's creamy, cheesy. That's good. Uh, I don't like a lot of salt. Honestly, y'all, if y'all know me, I don't add much salt, and I'd probably add a little salt to this, but it's really good. Let's go ahead on. We done did the jambalaya rolls. We did the, the macaroni and cheese. Both were really, really good. Macaroni could have used a little more salt, but hey, I like that they don't put too much because some people like me, I don't like a lot of salt, but they need to add a little. They can add a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But Let's check out this uh, seafood platter, okay? Oh, yeah. Got some fried oysters, man. Some shrimp, y'all. Stuffed crab. We're going in on this stuffed crab. Oh, we're going in on this. Hold on. Oh, yeah. They need to give us bigger forks and stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of times, y'all, y'all probably notice you go to a restaurant, you order like a stuffed crab, and you don't get that much crab. This thing's loaded down with crab. It's absolutely delicious. Matter of fact, show them the crab. Show them how much crabs in there. You could actually see the crab amount in there. Check that out, y'all. I mean, it's loaded down with crab. Shrimp. Man. Man. That's good, man. Oh, man, we got fish, too. Hold up. Check out that catfish. Man, come on now. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. So, I ain't even gonna lie. You come to New Orleans, you don't come to Quarter View, you're probably not getting some of the best food you ever had. I'm telling you. 
Y'all know some restaurants in New Orleans in general that are better than this? And you've been to Quarterview? You let me know in the comments. I mean, it's top-notch, high quality. But now, seafood's been good. The shrimp, the catfish, the jambalaya rolls were good. Macaroni was good. But now we got the gumbo. We ain't gonna let, we gotta see this gumbo. That's gonna tell us the roots to New Orleans, okay? So let's check it out and let's see what it is. All right, y'all, so we got our, our cup of gumbo here. And of course, on the side, you get your rice. So you just get it on in there, mix it up, okay? Wind blowing hard today. Thank God I got this microphone. Y'all wouldn't be able to hear me. I ain't gonna put too much. I'm gonna put a little something, something for now. I ain't eating too much no how. But uh, let's see. Let's see what this gumbo is now. It's gonna really tell y'all a lot. When you go somewhere, they either gonna have some good gumbo or some raggedy gumbo. There ain't no in between, okay? Oh, yeah. See a bunch of shrimp up in there. Look. All right. That's what you're looking for. You can tell it's creamy. You see the trinity, you see the shrimp. All right, so let's see. Let's see now. All right, now. Everything's good. The gumbo is good. But there is better gumbo out there to be found show y'all some spots but i mean it ain't bad at all you know what i'm saying but is it gonna be like all right ralph where do i go and i want to find the best gumbo out there i wouldn't send you here but it's good i'm definitely gonna eat it i guarantee you that but seafood platter y'all these i never heard of i mean right, come on jumbo look where you find that at i mean really where, where can you find something like that all right and of course, the catfish, the shrimp, the oysters, everything's delicious. If you come here and you want to get you some gumbo because you're in the mood for it, that's absolutely worth buying. It's, it's just not going to be way up on the, you know, way up on the scale. But here nor there, y'all, I know I could say without a shadow of a doubt, Quarter View in Metairie is absolutely worth coming to check out. If you come to New Orleans, and let's say you like in the French Quarter or close there too, you're probably about... A 10 minute Uber out of way. So you can just Uber right into Metairie, eat at Quarter View. When you're done eating, get your little Uber back then, you know, 10 minutes. And, and this is where you're gonna find some good food, okay? The French Quarter, everybody goes looking for the best food, but let's not forget, that's where the tourist goes, guys. So, and so the prices are skyrocketed and the food is kept, they don't really care. It's kind of raggedy sometimes, okay? So, with that being said, I would, without a shout, no questions asked. Tell y'all, if you want good food, come to Quarter View. This is not paid sponsorship. This is just straight up truth. Me coming to y'all. So if y'all come down and visit and you want to get some good food, you know where to go. That's what we're doing. That's what it's about. So on the seafood platter, on the jambalaya rolls, and on the macaroni, I'm going to go with a 9-6 on that. Now, the gumbo, to be honest with y'all, I'm going to keep that at about a 6. I ain't going to lie. Maybe I was, I was torn between a 5 and a 6. Um, don't want to talk bad about it, but they could do a little better. If you can have all this delicious food, they could definitely work on the gumbo. But definitely worth coming to check out, guys. Like I said, let me know in the comments what y'all want to see next. Uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate y'all.